One of the main intentions behind this trip was to see how cheaply one could do Vegas uh, if you were smart about it. I am staying here at the Park MGM, and I am staying here for free. That's right, I have a free hotel room, and it wasn't that hard. Um, the way I got this free hotel room, and there should be an asterisk there, it is free except I still have to pay the resort fee, which is about $37 plus tax American, comes out to just less than $42 a day. That's an amazing price for a hotel of this quality, frankly, for a hotel of any quality. So um, that's pretty good. And the way I did that was by redeeming my Vegas points. So in case you don't know, my Vegas is a game that you can play in Facebook. And um, it doesn't cost you anything, although you can purchase things to, you know, increase your progress or whatever. But I didn't. I haven't spent a penny on that. Uh, and sometimes you can just kind of set it to auto spin and the thing will play itself. And so you can just leave it be while you go do something else and just check on it every now and then in case you have to click on something. Um, but anyways, you get loyalty points, which you can eventually redeem for things like free hotel stays. And so I was able to do that. And uh, I am going to be putting up a tutorial video about exactly how I did that on the YouTube channel. So do check that out. Uh, we'll be having that come out hopefully soon. Uh, I've got the screenshots and I'm going to explain exactly the redemption process. If you want to know how to get more of those loyalty points faster, I highly recommend Ace of Vegas. He's on YouTube. He's on a lot of platforms, but YouTube is where you really want to find him. He's got instructional videos that'll show you what games to play at what betting levels yield maximum results. And before I watched his videos, I just kind of, you know, did whatever, max bet all the time just to get it over with. Uh, but after watching one of his videos, um, my method, I played... Uh, the, I think it's Lake Spot of Bigfoot, <laughs> which is kind of cute. It's a little funny. Uh, and it reminds me of like The Great Outdoors, the movie with John Candy. Um, and so, as well as Harry and the Hendersons, it, it for me is like a callback to that. So, um, I, uh, I, you know, I find it kind of charming for that reason. And so what I do is I bet 40,000 chips. Uh, and then whenever I have 400,000 chips, I set it to auto spin. Because uh, then it's guaranteed to have at least 10 spins. Uh, and then I'll just go and do something else. <laughs> I will go listen to a podcast, uh, perhaps if you want to listen to the Vacation Impossible podcast while that's running in the background. That might be a good way of multitasking. Uh, you know, maybe I'll watch a video uh, on YouTube again, Vacation Impossible, check us out. Um, or, you know, I'll, I'll watch Netflix or something. Uh, and then I'll have that going in the background. I'll read a book, whatever makes sense. So um, it's a minimal investment of time and effort. Uh, and you get potentially free hotel room. So this is pretty fantastic. So I'm here for two nights. Uh, and I've done a fairly in-depth sort of trip report hotel review. So look forward to that video also coming out on the Vacation Impossible YouTube channel. Uh, the short version is it's actually a pretty nice uh, hotel for the most part. Uh, the casino is much smokier than when it used to be the Monte Carlo. This is the new refresh and rebranding of the Monte Carlo, which we stayed at in 2011. Uh, so it is now the Park MGM. Uh, the room is very nice. The check-in area is very nice. Uh, and so for what I paid it's amazing uh, and so anyways uh, check out the YouTube channel uh, we'll have a video coming out soon all about what it's like and I'll show you the room and the facilities and we'll cover it in depth the good the bad and the ugly